Hi everyone, this is Dr. H. As the coronavirus pandemic spreads, all my performances were cancelled for this month. But we're now learning doing social distancing is one of the best ways to protect yourself and others. So today I'm gonna take you through my day of social distancing. Please stay till the end of the video. I'll be sharing some things to do online, such as watch a concert online for free or visit a museum virtually. During the social distancing, it's very important to keep a regular schedule. For example, to wake up at the same time. Don't go to bed too late, don't wake up too late just because you don't have the same obligation. Keep the same routine can keep yourself motivated. Good morning, I just got up and showered. Uh, now I'm making some lemon water. I like to start my day with... I like to start my day with lemon water. It strengthens my immune system and it speeds up my metabolism. Oh, and after this, we'll go walk my dog, Cooper. 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 Come on. Now it's our morning walk. This is Cooper. Uh, Cooper now it's about three and a half years old. We adopted him from a uh, Korean meat market. He is a uh, Jindo Shiba Inu mix. Um, he's quite shy to other people, but uh, he's a very sweet puppy. We just got back from our walk. Now I'm gonna start practicing. I'm gonna start with the warm up. In the later episode, I'll be sharing my warm-up routine with you guys, so stay tuned. Now I'm gonna practice. One eternity later. All right, now it's finally lunchtime. After a couple hours of practicing, I made myself some lunch. Whenever I'm not traveling or super busy with work, I try to cook for myself so I can eat a little bit healthier. So today I made some quinoa, eggs, sweet potato, Hainanese chicken, broccoli, and of course I have my favorite green tea to go with the lunch. After lunch, I decided to read a little bit. I'm currently reading a research paper on Tchaikovsky seasons. This is probably one of the best habits that I picked up during my doctoral studies. I love reading research papers. It gives me a better idea of the background and the structure of the piece. And it makes it easier to make interpretation decisions. Since all the schools have canceled the in-person classes and lessons, so I have to teach online, now I'm just waiting for my students to get online. Hello, can you hear me? Great. Last five bars into the last page. You need to make sure that transition is correct. Yeah. And then uh, the rest is uh, is fine. Okay. Yeah? Um, yeah. Any questions? Nope. I'm good. As you can see, it's a little more difficult to teach online. But uh, there's no better alternative, at least for now. Um, the students are doing really well, so I'm very pleased. <sighs> I feel like I've been sitting all day, so I decided to go for a run. Accessing is very important. It keeps your brain sharp and it keeps you healthy. Uh, and the most importantly, it releases endorphin and that makes you happier. <sighs> See you there. All right, now back to practice. You can use this time to catch up on practice. You can also use this time to learn a piece that you've been dying to learn but never had the time. When I'm taking breaks from practicing, I take Cooper to the dog park. Hi Coop! Hi Coop! Hi! Go, 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 go! In the 
arts community, there are some very generous organizations, such as the Met Opera, that launches the free nightly stream. And Berlin Philharmonic also opens up their digital concert hall. And there are more than 12 incredible museums around the world that offers virtual tour. Please check out the links in the description area. That's it for today's episode. I hope you, your family, and your friends are all safe during this coronavirus pandemic. Remember, don't panic, wash your hands, and avoid crowded areas. Use the time wisely as it's a great opportunity for you to take a break from your busy life. Thanks for watching today's episode. Please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or topics that you would like me to cover, please leave it in the comment area below. Or you can email me at classypitch at gmail.com. You can also find me on Twitter or Instagram at classypitch. Stay classy. See you next time.